Targeted therapies have become the treatments of choice for many neoplastic diseases. However, the efficacy of different members of this class of treatments varies considerably. Differences in underlying mechanisms of action may lead to these variable effects on targeted cells. One type of targeted therapy is the receptor-targeting antibodies. These agents are designed to bind to specific cell surface receptors, such as the receptors of the epithelial growth factors. The antibodies block the binding of the native extracellular ligand to the receptor. In this way, these agents prevent normal intracellular signaling, disrupting cellular homeostasis and altering gene expression patterns. Although they have proven effective for several disease states, they generally do not kill the targeted cells directly. Furthermore, receptor mutations and redundancies in signal transduction pathways may undermine their efficacy. A different type of targeted therapy is a fusion toxin. Instead of impacting a cell by disrupting signal transduction, fusion toxins are designed to kill the targeted cell directly. An example of one such fusion toxin is the interleukin-2 diphtheria toxin fusion protein, ONTAC. The clinical significance of this data is unknown. ONTAC is a hybrid protein in which the human IL-2 polypeptide replaces the receptor binding region of the diphtheria toxin creating a fusion toxin. Thus the ligand binding of IL-2 is linked to the translocation and enzymatic domains of diphtheria toxin. The IL-2 portion gives ONTAC its specificity for binding to the high affinity and intermediate affinity IL-2 receptors as observed in ex vivo studies. The IL-2 receptor, IL-2R, is expressed in activated T-cells, including regulatory T-cells. The malignant cells in cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, CTCL, have been shown to express high-affinity IL-2 receptors, providing a possible drug target. As among normal cells, the high-affinity form of the receptor is usually found only on activated T-lymphocytes and activated macrophages. The IL-2 receptor is composed of three polypeptides, the alpha, or CD25, chain, the beta, or CD122 chain, and gamma, or CD132 chain. The beta and gamma chains are similar to other members of the class I cytokine receptor family. However, the alpha chain is a member of a unique class. The IL-2 receptor exists in at least three forms that vary with respect to subunit 